percent change we're looking for a percent not feet percent change looking for a percent not feet also we're dealing in inches so you probably don't want to be using a different measurement this is legit but you don't show any work for how to get it also once again that's a actual change we're looking for the percent change so you got to use the formula that was given partial solution this also legit so I know that somehow somewhere you got an answer to this in order to get this answer but problem you don't show any of your work so you can't possibly get full credit can't get much partial credit this guy down here same idea you've got some legit numbers here but I think, I think you're doing two things here that you're going to have to watch out for. Number one, you cannot have both a percent symbol and shift decimal places. I think you want this to be 63.2%. And then this one to be 6.32%, kind of like what they had up there. Again, though, you want full credit. You want most of your credit. you got to show your steps. you got to show your reasoning. These guys both are near perfect answers i like them both they're both wrong but this is why i like them here's the formula with the numbers replaced all right that's exactly what i want to see as part of your solution process then when they actually went to do the mathematics right very simple mistake they're supposed to be using the number 38 they rewrote it as 28 that's a mistake all right they come out with the wrong answer because of a simple copying error i like this i'm gonna give that almost all of its points this guy same idea they've got their steps all right same steps shown a little bit of a different way 62 minus 38 is 24 24 divided by 38 times 100 I get this now they're missing I think they want a decimal point right in there other than that it's looking good they're showing me how they're getting their numbers they're showing me how they're getting their answer I like it I'm a, I don't know how many times to repeat. I'm much more interested in process than final answer. This guy, careful, careful. <laughs> I, had a, I had a couple people make this mistake. You guys used this number as a, as a time for the video on YouTube. Time shown here. The time of the video is 4 minutes 21 seconds. That's the time you wanted to use. Also, though, when we're doing our when we're doing our calculations here, our formula is new minus old over old times one hundred equals percent. You don't want to have the percent that's given to you sitting in this old position. Percent is always going to go in the percent position, so you got to watch out for that kind of stuff don't just toss numbers into a formula randomly there needs to be meaning to them they have to be arranged in the proper spots i don't know exactly what was happening here with the uh with a semicolon i don't i i do not actually know what kind of calculations you were trying to do what I will say is, same as the example that I did, if you've got a mixture of units, so in this case it's minutes and seconds, the easiest thing for you to do is to change the bigger unit into the smaller unit. So in this case, I would take 4 minutes times 60 seconds per minute is 240 seconds plus the extra 21 seconds and we've got 261 seconds that's what i would use as my time for this problem then you only have to deal with one unit you don't have to deal with conversions after that it makes life a lot easier these guys we've seen this problem before maybe it's right i don't really i i care very little that whether the answer is right because you didn't show me how you got it so same thing here Maybe the answer is right. Maybe not. You didn't show any steps. You are getting almost no credit. 40% of 275, true. But that's not actually the situation that's going on here. They say that this, this is 
a 40% markup, meaning I have some price unknown and 40% of that price added to the original price gives me 275. I did say this is the toughest, toughest situation. I do appreciate the effort that's put in, right? I'll give you some, I'll give you some credit for, for trying on this one. And again, showing, show me what you're doing. This, I don't want to see any of these answers anymore. This is called guessing. You can put whatever mathematically sounding words you want to into your guess. If you're not doing math, you're not doing math. Two different, two more different renderings of this problem. So check this though. This person has the formula set up 100% perfectly. New price minus, I don't know, the old price divided by, I don't know, the old price times 100 equals that 40% markup. Okay, so this is, uh, this is, this is worth the most credit of what I've seen so far because they got the, the formula correct. Now, they don't solve it correctly. They actually go on to do what one of the other people above did. So they don't actually, they don't actually use their formula. And I understand, listen, I understand why. I told you guys this was tough because you've got an X in two spots and you didn't really know how to deal with an X in two spots. Okay, what I would actually do if I was you in this for this problem now that I've given you more pro more formulas or more versions of the formula solved for different things, I would go into one of the other documents and look for the formula that already has the old price by itself and use that formula. That makes this problem a much much easier. But if you want to solve, if you want to get a variable out of a denominator, I did show this before. Uh, you want to multiply both sides of your equation by that denominator. So times x, we would have 275 minus x, all of that times 100 equals 40x. And then you can start to solve it the same way you would if you had variables on both sides of an equation. Distribute this, add 100x to both sides, you're going to end up with 275 equals 140x and then divide both sides by 140 and I'm giving away an answer right now. So combination of what they have and what I have gets you the, the answer to this problem. This guy did the problem as if as if the new price was unknown. So they actually, that's why, and, and this is the thing, you got to check for reasonableness of the answer. They end up with a bigger answer because, look back at the problem, they're using this as if it's the old price. And then there's a 40% markup. All right, and this will be reading comprehension. I resold it for 275. This is a new price. I made I made money on it. So I should know as soon as I get that answer, oh, I did something wrong with my formula because I should have, you know, if I read the problem situation, I should have got a smaller number. I should have bought it for less than I sold it for. But still, show and work, I am I am satisfied. I, I'm satisfied with that answer because what do I want from you guys? The best that you can do. That's what I want. And sometimes the best that you can do on a, on a certain day is not perfect. That's fine.